Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today's episode, I want to show you how to use Safari to read news from multiple websites and see them on one page. So the idea here is to use RSS feeds, which are feeds of headlines and news summaries from different websites, and combine them so you can actually read articles from different websites in one place. You can do this in Safari without having to know anything about servers or creating web pages or anything like that. Let me show you. So the idea is to create a folder full of bookmarks and each bookmark is going to be an RSS news feed. Now by default Safari usually already has one called news. There's a bunch of stuff in there. So we're basically creating something like that but with our own selections. To make it easy we're going to control click here in the bookmarks bar at the top and create a new folder. So we're going to call this one My News and now we've got it right here and there's nothing in it. Now we're at this news website. We're going to click on the RSS feeds here and jump to the top stories RSS feed for this site. And then we're going to add bookmark for this RSS feed. We're going to stick it in the My News folder there. And now we've added it. Now under My News we can see we've got that one news source. Let's go to another news source. and do the same thing. And we'll see that RSS button appear here. Almost every news website has an RSS button there. And when we click on it, in this case there's only one feed so it doesn't give us a choice there and it goes to the RSS feed. Now we'll add a bookmark for that. Make sure it's in the same place, My News, and add it. Now we can see under My News we've got two sources. Now to view all of them at one time we can simply select this folder and go to view all RSS articles. And now what we're going to get here is a combination of news articles from CNN and the New York Times. We can go ahead and add in all sorts of other news sources. So you can do top news or you can say do tech news or if you've got a certain interest you can just go to websites that deal with that interest and create a folder like this with RSS feeds from all of those and simply go to that one page to read all the news for all of those sites at one time. Now you don't have to place this in your bookmarks bar. You can uh, go to show all bookmarks and you can organize in here. Um, let's go and bring this up here so we're not looking at just at the cover flow. We can see under bookmarks bar we've got my news. We've got what's inside it and this is where it's very handy to be able to go in and edit and delete it or change the name. Uh, we can then drag this somewhere else like completely outside of these collections into bookmarks and then access it from here. So for something you're rarely going to use you might want to put it there. And one of the really cool things about doing this is that on the right here you can see you get search options and you can sort by different things and do uh, different time spans, all sorts of things. You can also just jump if you just want to look at the CNN articles for instance or you can go back to all. You can also update it instantly by clicking on the Update Now button. So it's really interesting here if you wanted to search for stuff going on in Congress, just type Congress in there and then you would have all of your news sources searched right in here on this one page. It's a part of Safari a lot of people don't generally use but it can come in very handy if you like reading news articles on the Internet. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.